Good afternoon, my name is Gary. Um, this is a tutorial on a Veritas compact um, alarm panel, uh, i.e. the circuit board. Um, this is one that I removed from um, a home very recently and it was removed for reasons that I'm going to explain now. The lady had a power cut and the battery was absolutely short, it had been in some time and on arrival I went to default the system and I get asked this problem quite a lot as to why um, they are unable to default it back to factory settings um, and the engineer number not working um, which I'm going to show you now. I'm just going to power it up which is just um, connected it to a 12 volt DC power supply uh, just for this purpose um, but what you would normally do is obviously remove all power which would be the battery and the main supply then you would reapply the power which is what I'm going to do now and while it's actually illuminated press either the tamper switch or reset until the tone starts then you would put in the default user code which is 4 3 2 1 which switches off the panel now this is what the issue was with the control panel when you go then to put in the default engineer code which is one two three four and then program one two three four program all the leds here should illuminate which would indicate then that you are in engineer mode um, this panel will not do that um, simply because the previous engineer actually put his engineer code in and locked it in and no amount of defaulting this panel would, would ever going to change that. Um, what would have to happen is, you, like me, I had to remove the panel uh, the next day and um, replace it with a brand new one. Now, I have no issues with any engineer putting his code in and probably locking it in. But when it comes to the guy going on holiday, which in this case was the reason, and the customer couldn't contact him, the alarm was going off day and night and therefore she had to call another engineer out. Now, you know, the reason why I don't lock it in is specifically for that reason if I'm on holiday, which I do do now and again, you know, if anything happened, I would like another engineer, if possible, to come out and put it right. Um, and they cannot do that if you default it and therefore then it's it's more expense to the customer uh, than is absolutely needed. But this is the reason why is because the original engineer or the engineer that previously installed this put his code in, um, his engineer code and locked it in so therefore it makes the panel obsolete to anybody else if they need to do any repairs. I hope this helps everybody, take care, see you soon.